Hi everyone, this is Yunwei to introduce our paper, Only Send What You Need, Learning to Communicate Efficiently in Federated Multilingual Machine Translation. In this work, we noticed the communication burden when applying federated learning to recent AI applications. We're trying to design an efficient communication method for federated learning in practical natural language processing scenario. So when recent AI models become more complex, the communication challenges of using federated learning in those areas become more critical, since we have to communicate a large amount of models parameters. And considering real-world scenarios, multilingual NLP provides a well-suited environment to discuss federated learning, since the data sets are usually distributed. And the data distribution is natural non-IID. Also, in many multilingual applications, it is difficult to transmit all the data to central server due to privacy concern. But considering language models with large amount of parameters, transmitting them in a federated learning setup will cost a lot of resources and time. We start with thinking the question that is it possible to communicate partial parameters to improve efficiency during federated learning? And we found that if we compare a trend client's model with its previous round, we can see the deviation of the model tend to be clustered in two groups, and it seems like a clear boundary between these two clusters. So our goal is to analyze whether communicating a group of parameters in local models is enough. For example, just send the less active parameters or just send the fluctuating parameters during fashion. Some challenges involved when deciding a boundary between these two parameters group. First, this threshold should be sensitive to the dynamic changing distribution over federated learning rounds. And most importantly, this, this threshold should consider performance. So we can capture efficiency and performance simultaneously. And our goal is to solve these challenges and provide a dynamic threshold, which is the blue one in these figures, that can differentiate two groups based on parameters deviation. So to achieve these goals, we design a meta learning based thresholding methods called MetaSend that generates a sending threshold that can strike a balance between performance and efficiency. And the results show that our proposed method can save more than 60% resources during communication. And the translation evaluations outperform baseline show that our method considers efficiency without compensating the quality. So if you are interested in our work, feel free to reach out. Thank you.